Hello and welcome. In this workshop, we will demonstrate how to use the ANSYS Fluent Meshing Watertight Geometry Workflow to generate a simulation ready mesh that can be used to study the external aerodynamics of a generic high-speed train geometry. Specifically, we will focus on creating local mesh refinement zones, performing shear topology, assigning regions as dead to avoid modeling them, and adding boundary layers with a specified first cell height. Let's get started. For external aerodynamics type simulations such as flow over a car, an aircraft, or a train, care needs to be taken when generating the mesh to accurately predict the aerodynamic forces generated by the fluid, especially the drag force. Though the focus of this workshop is not on creating a validation worthy mesh, you will learn how to use the watertight workflow to generate such meshes for external aerodynamic simulations if required. Launch ANSYS Fluent in meshing mode. For this demonstration, double precision is enabled and four processes are engaged for meshing. Once Fluent meshing launches, select watertight geometry workflow. In the import geometry task, ensure that units is set to meters and load the provided geometry file. The model consists of a generic high-speed train geometry along with the domain around it in which the fluid flow needs to be solved. For the purpose of this workshop, we will not be adding any local sizing but instead we will create local refinement regions around the train geometry. Right click on the add local sizing task and select create local refinement regions from the insert next task menu. In this workshop, we will be using the box type local refinement region. The box refinement type lets the user construct a box around the selected geometry to define specific mesh sizes. The default method of defining box is the ratio relative to geometry size which we will employ in this workshop. In this method, the user has to provide the limits to which the box extends in each direction as a ratio relative to the length of the selected geometry in that specific direction. Please enter the minimum and maximum values shown here in the box parameters section. Select the train walls label from the list. Immediately, you will see a graphical representation of the box placed around the selected geometry in the graphics window. This box is also overlaid with smaller size boxes which represent the size of the mesh that will be created inside the box which is controlled by the mesh size input. We will set the mesh size to 0.25 meter and execute the task to confirm the refinement region specification. In the generate the surface mesh task, set minimum value to 0.25 meter and maximum size to 2 meter. Leave all other settings to default and execute the task to generate the surface mesh. In the describe geometry task, select the geometry consists of both fluid and solid regions and or voids as the geometry type and leave the rest to default. Note that the do you need to apply shear topology is set to yes by default for this case since ANSYS Fluent automatically identified that there are multiple objects in the model that is train geometry and the surrounding domain and no shear topology was performed between the two during the CAD creation phase. Execute the task and proceed to the apply shear topology task. We will use the default settings for this task. Click on mark gaps to visualize the locations where this operation will be performed in the geometry. Execute the task to implement the shear topology operation. In the update boundaries task, since the labels were predefined during the CAD phase, Fluent automatically assigns the appropriate boundary conditions based on label name. 
no changes are required here and we can continue to the next task. Since there is only one fluid region in our model, this is correctly identified as the fluid by the meshing algorithm. No changes are required here either and we can move on to the update regions task. Here we have two regions, the enclosure and the train. In this workshop, we are only interested in solving the fluid flow around the train geometry. So we don't need to mesh inside the train geometry. To inform ANSYS Fluent to avoid meshing this region, set the region type for train to dead and execute the task. Next, we will add boundary layers to the walls in our model. Set add boundary layers option to yes. We will use the last ratio method to grow the boundary layer mesh on the train walls and the ground surfaces. To select specific labels, ensure that grow on is set to selected labels. When using the last ratio offset method, we can specify the transition ratio as well as the first height. Transition ratio allows the user to control the size difference between the last layer of boundary layer mesh and the core mesh, whereas the first height allows the user to control Y plus value of the mesh. Set the first height to 0.02 meter. To ensure the boundary layer flow behavior is accurately captured, it is common practice for external aerodynamic simulations to use a high number of boundary layers. A value of 10 is a good starting point. We will use 15 in this workshop. Execute the task. Now we are ready to generate the volume mesh. In this demo, we will use the polyhex core fill with method to fill the core of the fluid volume with hexahedral cells which are connected to the boundary layer mesh through polyhedral cells. The minimum and maximum cell length values are automatically populated based on the previously defined local refinement region and surface mesh sizing controls and are sufficient for our purpose. Hit the generate the volume mesh button to create the volume mesh. The generated mesh has a total of approximately 2.16 million cells with a mesh quality of 0.1. On examining, it can be seen that the boundary layer mesh and box refinement region around the train geometry is clearly distinguishable from the rest of the mesh due to the finer cell sizing used in these regions. Though the mesh quality is acceptable to continue on to simulating the model, it is possible to improve the mesh quality by using an additional task. Right click on generate the volume mesh task and select improve volume mesh from the insert next task menu. We will use the default cell quality limit value of 0.15 and execute the task. The meshing algorithm manipulates the volume mesh to improve the overall quality to the prescribed value without adding any additional cells. That brings us to the end of this workshop.